Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to draw the influence line for reaction, shear, and movement in a beam. Okay, I have been given a question which states that we have to draw the influence lines for the movement at C, reaction at B, and shear at C, assuming that A is bent and B is roller. You can see uh, our beam. Okay, this is an overhanging beam having a total span of uh, 30 meter. Okay. Uh, there are two supports. Uh, the first one is A, which is a paint support, and second is the uh, roller support at B. Okay. So to draw the influence line uh, for uh, movement, reaction, and shear for this beam, uh, we will place the unit load uh, at that the position of the beam where we have to find uh, the influence line value and then we will find the value of function okay so for finding the ordinates of influence line we will uh, place a unit load at that position of the beam and the value of the function is found out okay so let's try it out uh, first the unit load since we have to find uh, the value of moment at c reaction at sorry uh, shear at c and reaction at b when the unit load is placed uh, uh, along the different positions on this beam okay first we will place uh, our unit load at a okay uh, unit load has a magnitude of one okay without any units okay so when the unit load is placed at a you will first find the value of reactions uh, uh, at a and b okay assuming that both are in upwards direction okay to find the reactions you will take the uh, movement about point, uh, support b or a it, it uh, taking the movement at zero and then solving and you will get the value of reaction of ra and rb okay so when the unit load is placed at one a reaction uh, value of reaction at b this will be zero and value of reaction at a this will be equal to one okay after that you have to find the value of shear at c and movement at c okay so shear at c this will be given as simply if i cut a section at c uh, okay and taking the section AC, shear at C, this will be equal to RA minus 1, okay? Because only these two forces will be acting on the section AC. So, shear at C, this will be 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. Movement at C, this will be equal to taking the clockwise movements as positive, as anti-clockwise movements as negative. Movement at C, this will be RA into 10 minus 1 into 10. 10 because movement due to ra this will be clockwise and movement due to this unit load this will be anti-clockwise so it will be 1 into 10 minus 1 into 10 which is again 0 okay so when the unit load is at a reaction at b this is 0 shear at c this is 0 and movement at c this is 0 okay after that you will place the uh, unit load at the next position which is c okay so place the unit load at c this is the fpd uh, of the beam when the unit load is at c and again first find the reactions okay so when the unit load is at c this is a case of symmetrical loading r a and r v r b both will be equal to 0 0.5 and uh, both will be equal to 0 0.5 okay you can find out this by taking the movement about the support a or support b assuming clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise are negative if i take the movement about support b it will be uh, movement due to this uh, one this will be negative so it will be one into ten and movement due to this ra this will be ra into 20 this will be clockwise okay so both are opposite movements so it will be 1 into 10 divided by 20 which is 0 0.5 will be the value of ra and similarly value of rb this will be 1 minus ra or which is 0 0.5 okay so value of ra and rb is uh, 0 0.5 again now you will find the value of movement at c and shear at c okay so when the load is at uh, c you have to find two values of shear first is just at the left of the c and second is just at the right of the c so shear at just at the left of the c uh, when the unit load is placed exactly at c this will be minus ra okay 
because if I cut the section at this point that is uh, uh, just at the left of the C and consider only this portion so shear will be in the opposite direction of RA if RA is in the upward direction shear will be in the downward direction so that's why it's minus RA okay so shear at just at the left of C okay this will be minus 0 0.5 and shear at just at the right of C, this is given as if I cut the section at this at the just at the right of the C, shear at C, uh, this will be uh, assuming it in the positive direction that is in the upwards direction, it will be 1 minus RA. Okay, so it will be 1 minus 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5 will be the value of shear just at the right of the C when the unit load is placed at C. Okay, movement at C, this will be. Uh, ra into 10 okay so movement will be ra into 10 okay it will be 0 0.5 into 10 which is 5 okay so when the unit load is at c reaction at b is 0 0.5 shear at just at the left of the c is minus 0 0.5 at the just at the right of the c is 0 0.5 and movement at c this is 5 okay after that you have to place the unit load at the next position which is uh, at b so when the unit load is at b uh, okay value of ra will be 0 and value of rb is equal to 1 okay so simply you can find out this if uh, you take the moment about b okay so ra into 20 will be equal to 0 it means ra is 0 and if ra is 0 uh, if you take the vertical equilibrium it means rb will be equal to 1 okay in the upwards direction so value of rb is equal to 1 shear at c okay this will be equal to ra if i cut the section at c only force remaining in this portion ac is ra so shear at c will be ra since ra is zero it means shear is also zero and movement at c this will be ra into 10 again ra is zero so it will be zero into 10 which is zero okay so when unit load is at b a reaction at b is one shear at c is zero and movement at c is zero after that place the load at the last position which is at d okay so when the unit load is at d take the moments about a equal to 0 so uh, 1 into 30 this will be a clockwise moment okay moment of unit load about a this is 1 into 30 lever arm is 30 meter this is a clockwise so i have taken it positive and moment of rb about a will be anti clockwise and lever arm is 20 so 1 into 30 minus rb into 20 is, is equal to 0 it gives me the value of rb equal to 1.5 in the upward direction as assumed since it is positive it means it's in the upward direction okay and for vertical equilibrium ra plus rb should be equal to one so value of ra will be one minus 1.5 which is minus 0 0.5 since uh, this is negative it means the direction of ra is in the downwards direction okay so ra is minus 0 0.5 after that shear at c this will be equal to ra if you cut the section at the c okay since ra is now in the downward direction okay shear will be in the upwards uh, direction and its value will be minus 0 0.5 it is in the opposite direction of ra having the same magnitude okay so it is minus 0 0.5 okay uh, the movement at c uh, c when the unit load is at d this will be ra into 10 so it will be minus 0 0.5 into 10 which is equal to minus 5 okay so this is the value of movement at c when the unit load is at d okay so for ild for movement at c when the unit load is at 0 meter mc is 0 when the unit load is at 10 meter movement at c is 5 when the unit load is at 20 meter movement at c is again 0 and when the unit load is at 30 meter movement at c is minus 5 okay so this is the shape for the ild for this beam okay uh, when uh, at zero moment is uh, when the unit load is at zero meter uh, moment is zero when it is at 10 moment is uh, plus five when it is at 20 moment is again zero and when it is at 30 moment at c is minus five okay uh, similarly uh, reaction at b ild for reaction at b when the unit load is zero meter uh, rb is 0 when the unit load is at 10 meter rb is 0 0.5 when the unit load is at 20 meter rb is 1 and when the unit load is at 30 meter rb is 1.5 this is the 
uh, influence line diagram for reaction at B. Okay, when the unit load is placed uh, along the length of the beam at different positions. Okay. Uh, after that, ILD for the shear at C. Okay, when the unit load is at zero meter, shear is at C is zero. When the unit load is at ten meter, shear at just at the left of the C is minus zero point five, and shear at just at the right of the C is plus zero point five. When the unit load is at twenty meter, uh, shear at C is again zero, and when the unit load is at thirty meter, shear at C is minus zero point five. This is the ILD, that is the influence line diagram for shear at C when the unit load is placed along the length of the beam at different positions. Okay, so this is how you can uh, draw the influence line diagram for any function that is moment, shear, or reaction. What you have to do, you just have to place the unit load at different positions uh, of the beam and then solve for that function okay so if you have to find the reaction you just place the unit load at uh, different positions in the beam and then find the value of a reaction uh, when the unit load is placed at that position okay and similarly for the shear and the moment okay i hope uh, this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box okay i will be making more videos on this influence uh, line diagrams okay uh, using the muller bruslu principle okay so stay tuned okay and share this video with your friends and thanks for watching